Virginia. Good. Great. How are you? I'm doing so well. I just finished watching Cinderella. I feel like I'm on top of the world. It's just the first of many rewatches to come. Let me tell I you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so fun to connect with you, especially knowing I'm the envy of so many people across the world. Kamila, mm -hmm. this is your film debut, but you're credited as an actress in 41 projects. And your music videos are no less than a visual spectacle. Talk me through how and if this experience was different. Oh, it was so different. I mean, this film made me just so excited to do more films. Like, it was just such an amazing experience. I also find that it's so different than doing music, too, because... You know, first of all, selfishly, it, it was like my first time feeling like I never got to go to summer camp. And it was just like this summer camp experience of like seeing the same people every day. And, you know, I think there's a lot of like vulnerability and, and intimacy and closeness that happens like in between takes and when you mess up and the and the laughter and the nervousness. And it's also putting on a music. I mean, films yeah. are like that, um, but I think it's the musical aspect that the theatrical part of it, the cast totally. like learning choreography and totally. rehearsals and all so of that true. helps bond everybody really well. Guys, I never went to summer camp either. You think like I could do Beauty and the Beast next. <laughs> <laughs> I never got to go to summer camp. But, you know, the problem with fairy tales now is, you know, you can't really revisit them without looking at their problematic aspects. Totally. Of awkward you have like a love hate relationship with your favorite fairy tales and this is the most feminist and most inclusive retelling yet of cinderella you have to agree yes i like how she said that oh yeah it is really inclusive and feminist totally yeah. no i think everything from you know the kind of the the character of cinderella and her kind of looking at this societal problem which is that you know women are just expected to be wives and that's like the most that they can aspire to and she's like well I'm talented and I have things that I want to do and you know why can't I do that let me just like be the one to to change that um and so she's kind of like a trailblazer uh in that aspect and everything from that to Billy Porter playing um you know the Fab G, the fabulous godmother, and um, seeing, you know, I, Kay uh, was posted this on her Instagram story, which I really loved. Like, she was like, you know, when they talked about it, Billy was like, magic has no gender. Like, it's like the Fab G exists out of this kind of like gender binary. Um, so I love that you said that about inclusivity too, because mm -hmm. I love that about this movie too. Like, everything about it, I feel like, is like this update on like. Absolutely. And even Tina's character got redemption right because of course you put the wicked in wicked stepmother Idina but you also put misunderstood in her so I like how there's uh you know redemption in for your character for the queen you know Pierce Brosnan has to bring out his vocal cords uh you have his daughter then Pamela you rescue the prince you know there's so many things to love about this film but Despite it, you know, having all those layers, I keep looking at this and singing, I love it when you call me Cinderella. Did you guys do that too? Yes, all day we were singing that. <laughs> That's hilarious. I've actually never heard that. <laughs> but that is amazing. I love that. Yeah. So, so, you know, I look at you and I look at you, Edina, I'm sorry, but, you know, again, I'm like, let it go. Do you guys... Do that to each other, or do you sing each other songs to each other, or is it just like us plebs who do that to you guys? <laughs> I actually remember when I had this playlist that was like inspiring me for uh, like before we started filming, and I had Into the Unknown on there. You did? Yeah, I did. And then like I remember being like, I actually have to take this off because I'm just gonna be like I'm probably more nervous when I see her because that I would have been good because I time. always need a little ego boost. So I'm <laughs> heard it. Yeah, but, yeah. We um, it's everybody's. All the characters are are we get to see all the characters in a in a more complex and a totally. deeper level and um, but Kay does it with joy and with humor totally. and really understands how music can tell a story and and bring a character to life and um, there was a lot of joy on the set and totally. then especially we felt the 
the uh, tsunami, if you will, of COVID yeah. approaching, and then we had to shut down. And then the fact that we actually got to get back there and finish it, we were- It was emotional. Yeah, because we didn't know if we would get to finish it. Totally. I'm glad you did because you had me grooving throughout this film, I have to say, um, for sure. And uh, you know, we all have our favorite moments in fairy tales. My dear favorite moment from Cinderella is, uh, is the pumpkin. I don't know why. I don't have an explanation. So what is yours? <laughs> my my favorite moment from the movie. I really love. Um, dang, spoiler alert! But I like at the end when we sing to each other, and I kind of like yeah. see her in the crowd, and she just kind of like belts it was such a magical moment that day and like when you did that too it was just like I feel like so symbolic too of your character it's like such a powerful woman and has so much like power inside of her like through her voice but at the same time is so like repressed yeah um nice. so that was like really magical when same, just same day for me maybe it's because it was my first day back, back from covid yeah. and we're and we we're being really safe and all that but it was just a nerve-wracking time and yeah. then watching camila just command all of the dancers around her and and let's get loud at the end and just do your thing and hmm. um i mean i had been complimenting her as an actress the whole time but then i was just reminded of what a performer, incredible performer she was, like shot after shot, take after take after take, dancing her ass That's off so and singing. Funny. And um, so, and, and it's just, it's a really triumphant part of the That's of so the true. Movie. And the day felt like that too. Like it was just, yeah. it was fun. Yeah. I have to say it is so fantastic to see the love between the two of you. And for viewers who are watching, there's no pumpkin in this film. It just happens to be my favorite part of the fairy tale. Is there After a pumpkin? <laughs> yeah. No, there's no something. I have to tell everybody, yeah. And you guys should know I've watched this film. I've already seen it one and a half times. And I'm going to watch it like every weekend Love for it. a long time. To come. And I have to wrap now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I had so much fun. No, have a good Thank you. Thank you.